And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki Cianciarulo. Whoa, I love that, huh? You hear him? That's you, you, that bull. You know there's something coming when you hear that noise. You know, this week, like we said last week, this is the second part of McMillan River Adventures. Moose mania. Bulls gone wild. Yeah, and it's your turn. It is. Yeah, so what are you, you just going to sit around and do, do no, actually, nothing? No, actually, I don't let you do the whole show. Bon bon Goodbye. And... You weren't supposed to do that. Um, let me see. Okay, last week she shot a moose. It was fun. It was okay. And now it's my turn. And, and... You've got to see this. I had this bull come right in and almost, almost trampled her. Oh, it was so great. Ah, I called the insurance guy. It was pretty wild. You have to see it because... She didn't know I talked to the bull beforehand. It was beautiful. It's absolutely just almost got her. decided he was going to leave when he got our wind, but he decided to leave like towards us. So we all ran this way and he ran that way. That would explain the camera going down to the ground. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. No, I did not get trampled. It was close. Now, let's check out Ralph's Pika Bowl.
something. If that don't raise your blood level to an adrenaline rush like you've never had, you must be dead. We are hunting up here with McMillan River Adventures. Rod, Keith, his guys, Les, Russ, Joel, and all the other boys. Oh. You know, one of the things that, I mean, we probably can't stress enough, and that is, if you're so used to hunting white-tailed deer and you start to start to travel and do some more hunting, and especially like a moose, you're talking about an animal, 1,600 pounds, 1,800 pounds, could stand eight foot to the hump or to the top of the rack. I mean, judging distance is tough. I'm gonna tell you, one of the most important things to have is your Nikon rangefinder because that animal's gonna look a lot closer than it really is. He winded us. Oh. Is this wild or what? Oh. That bull hung up. And Russ said, you know what? We got to go after him. We went right after him. He grunted in back of me. I used the paddle. I just need him to be a little bit bigger. Don't get me wrong. It's too early in the hunt to say that. That's one heck of a bull, folks. And I'm telling you right now, it wouldn't. I'd be very proud to have that bull. But when you got Russ going, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, <laughs> sounded like the bull, nope. I'm like, huh, huh, please. We got within. 18, 15 yards? 15, 15, 15, 15 yards. 15 yards doing the paddle like Russ and Joel told us, you know, showed us to use and just grunting and I'm telling you what, unbelievable. This was just a test for you. I, I Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's go watch Ralph as he goes and gets his big Yukon McMillan River moose. You know, there's a lot of bull going down in here.
You know, it's so obvious to see that that bull is so locked into not humans coming in, but the threat of another bull flashing the paddle, doing the calling, wearing the dark stuff. I mean, they go in a trance that is just called moose mania. He's down. He's down. He's down. Is that the biggest one? Can you believe what just happened? Thank you, buddy. Look at that. That's adrenaline. Welcome back to the Archer's wow. Choice. That was awesome. I'm going to tell you, that was just... You guys ran through those bushes pretty quick. Yeah, and you kept bolt. up. I give you a lot of credit. That was a lot of thick stuff. And it was. I mean, I felt like, you know... I hope everyone gets sick with all the bushes. Land, I, I was like Land of the Giants, though. The, I mean, yeah, I like, you were. Oh, man. Like, Whoa, holy cow, but that was great. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, we That's kept the wind in our favor. That Our HS powder, you know, you could see that it was going in his direction, but as long yeah. as we kept our set pattern in front of him, I mean, Joel, we just... Well, you rocked it. Well, let's go get your hands on him. Yeah, I can't wait. A couple days ago, Vicky pounded. Hey, oh my gosh. What, a 59 inch bull with her Hoyt. And we're here with McMillan. I'm so, 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 so McMillan River Adventures. Joel here. We were just heading back casually. He said, you know, guys, you know, with Vicky shooting that great bull, we got time. The bulls are just starting to get going a little bit more and more. We got in here. We, you called a few times, it was like, you know, nothing. Then you did some raking and stuff, and we heard a branch break. That's it, one branch. One branch, and all of a sudden, lo and behold, you heard him coming a little closer, and, Joel, and Joel's like, you know what? Let me grab the paddle. We're going to go in after him. That is a giant Yukon bull. I That's mean, a good one. That's it's a no-brainer. Joel, Joel. What was that? About 15 yards? Yeah. And we, we centered him. That crossfire and that, that new Beeman Max 4, baby. Oh, he, I mean, I think he lost. Russ? We grunted. Russ? You better bring the backpack. Yeah, baby. You know, what can you say when you, you come up to a place and you know the history of the place, and uh, wow, you know, <laughs> Rod and Keith have made McMillan River Adventures, what everyone has heard about in the past, they have taken it over and have made it a dream come true for so many. And their management, their guides, Everything about what they're doing now is just, you know, it's just not just the animal, it's, it's the whole hunt, it's the memories, it's the experience, it's the country that you, you see, and it's, it's the friends that you make, and I gotta tell you something. This is, this is truly 
another dream come true. The last thing to get out. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, you, your bowl is bigger than mine, so I guess you, you, you have more bowl than I do. Oh, not that one night to put it that way. But, it but was, yes, it was, it was a true bigger. statement. Hey, listen, to experience a hunt like that is definitely, I mean, just something. Right, and if you want any of the information on how to contact McMillan River Adventures, it will be on the end of the show. At the end of the show, even on our website. I mean, That's just right. go to it. And, but I, I'm going to tell you, if, if, if you're looking for the ultimate. Oh, definitely the I mean, ultimate. the the Mardi Gras of mm -hmm. moose hunting. There's, I can't think of anything no, no, better on not. this planet than what we experienced. And we want to thank everyone at McMillan River, Rod and Keith and Les and Joel and Ross, all of them for ever, all the great experience and adventure that we had. With you know, them. and Les, what a trooper. I mean, he had his leg, he had just, he needed surgery and he, he stayed with us, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we it, it was an awesome time and we just want to thank them all for that great adventure. And that's it, and well, folks, we hope we did it. We did the Yukon justice to share with you these past two weeks of moose mania, bulls gone wild, because it was just wow. And I want to thank you, because sharing it with you was really special. Well, thank you. And we want to thank all of you for watching The Archer's Choice. So remember, come back next week. Same time. Same channel, right here on, on The, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.